everyone. Um, the lovely Frances, who has sent me quite a lot of these um, Maria Trolley books, well quite a lot of Maria Trolley books, has asked me if I could do a video showing all the pages that I've coloured so far in the books and I thought I would do that partly for her as a thank you for her sending me the books but also um, for you guys, you might like to have a look and see what I've done. Um, so I've got all the books. I think I've put them in order of publication, um, but they're not in order that I've received them, which means that some of the earlier ones have actually got less in. Like this one is the one I've had most recently, so I've done the least in it. But let's let's go. So this is her very first book, I think. It was a, as far as I'm aware, it was a storybook, and she then put the pictures into a colouring book. <clears throat> as you can see, it's 2016 um, date there. I'm sorry about the light. I put bookmarks in the books to mark the pages and then it got dark so I've got my main light on and my lamp so I hope it's going to be okay for you to see. Now when I did the flip through of the book I am um, coloured these um, with, um, I don't know what pencils but there's some gold pen and then I did this one as well later. And the only other picture I've done in here is this one which I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, I used polychromos and I just kept this sort of colour scheme of oranges and olive greens and I just I just loved it. I really, really liked this picture and it was just, when I flipped through the book, it was just the one I wanted to do. So there we go, there's that one. So that is all from that book, but there's plenty more um, to follow. I'm just making some room on my desk to put the book. There we go. So Twilight Garden was the first Maria Trolley book I got and my mum actually, mum and dad actually bought me this one. Um, so it's probably got the most in but not necessarily, we'll find out won't we? So the This Book Belongs To page, I was trying to do a sort of shiny gold effect. Not sure how good it was but it was an interesting experiment nevertheless. And then this one I remembered that it's done in Prismacolor. It was one of my first Prismacolor pictures, I think. And I had sort of learnt that doing on black you need quite bold colours, although these, these aren't very bold, but it's because I thought they were daisies. Um, so, yeah, so that was, uh, I used my bold Prismas. Of course, I wanted to do it because of the berries. Then we have this one. I think this was an Eastery type um, springtime picture that I did. Um, I'm not sure I did the eggs pink, but they look... I think they look fun and the birds sort of purples as well as grey and then this was definitely a sort of eastery one I was really pleased how this sort of um cabbage I guess came out um is it Chinese leaf I think so it looked quite three-dimensional but uh, I did um the background is quite interesting because if you look behind the rabbit there's actually little dots of sparkly pen you may not see it it's a bit of an experiment for me. Oops, we haven't. Okay, here we go. This was um, done with um, Ergosoft, I think. Um, this looks like number 25, that pink. Um, so quite a simple one, I think. Sometimes it's nice to have a simple one to do, isn't it? It's the same bird again. I remember this one was done with the colour cube card. I really didn't know what to do with this page and I'd seen it done quite <coughs> excuse me, quite a few times before and I didn't know how to do it so I got a card and just used the colours from that. So there's some Caput Mortem I think and some browns and things like that in that one. Now we have an autumnal spread. Obviously they are two separate pictures and I didn't do them at the same time but um, it was... Uh, it, it's rather nice to do these sorts of browns and things and we've got cob nuts and acorns and things and that owl. I mean he didn't need to be autumnal although he has got some acorns but it was nice to match them across. This mouse was actually a tutorial that I did. Um, I think it was in three or four parts um, so that's still available on my channel somewhere. I mean, if you look up the book name um, on my channel then you can usually find the relevant videos. But if you want one and you can't find it, let me know and I'll have a search and find it. It's not always that easy. And I think this one, I did one of these flowers, I think potentially this one as a video. And then the rest I just did myself. So I just fancied doing that flower. It looked a bit Johanna basford -y, I thought. So that's Twilight Garden. The next book I have in my pile is Nightfall. And, oops. We have this page, which is obviously a wreath. Um, 
yeah, I think the berries again attracted me to want to do that one. And this one was a bit of an experiment. How do we colour on black? <coughs> Excuse me. So lots of bold colours and some metallic dots. Of course, metallic dots. Now here we have a double. I absolutely love doing this one, but I love colouring blackberries. This mouse looks quite white in this light. Let's, I can't. It's just too bright. It's actually quite brown, like the basket. It's just, it just won't look white, not white, but anyway. And I drew fur on him as well. And then I did this one quite soon after because I'd had such fun with that one. I did that one and it actually looks a lot paler than it is in this light. Um, it's, it's purple and pink with the brown bird. Yeah, I'm sorry, the light isn't the best, but... Uh, I didn't want to leave the bookmarks in the book overnight because I just popped them in, it got dark and I thought if I leave it till tomorrow the books might spoil. You know, bookmarks aren't always the friendliest things for books. Now this one is interesting. I can see that I've done something um, on here which you might not spot. The heart of the, um, um, you can might be able to see actually, the heart of the cobweb is got a pearlescent um, pan pastel on it to make it look sort of shiny. So that's interesting little bit of an experiment then the last one here again the colors look very white we've got a blue moon and gray birds but they are very pale admittedly little blue planet and a, um, a shooting star I was just I wanted something really simple so why not <clears throat> now we have botanicum Oops. this one I've had quite a long time as well so there's quite a lot on this one I think we start with this heart-shaped, um, well, bleeding hearts with grape hyacinths. Sort of eastery with our nest. The eggs have got a little bit of sparkle on them, I think. Then we've got a squirrel. Um, I, I took a really long time doing this. I had a well of a time. I think the frame helped me make it feel smaller. And there's a lot of background, but I just did a simple cloud stencil with that. So, uh, yeah. And then this one, these quite a few of these were buddy colours, I think. Again, we've got blue splodges of pastel in the sky to look like it's cloudy. But uh, I have never done a child from the back before, so that was interesting. Ah, yes. Now this one, I wasn't that pleased with how it came out in the end. I've seen this page done really, really well. And uh, I just, there's blue pastel on top of the petals. The... 3d effect isn't working it's just not really as how i'd hoped however i have got her compilation book and it's got this in so i'm looking forward to doing it again at some point when i'm in the right mood i shall do it again now this was already color too and we did both pages together so it's almost like a double page because i did the same sort of pastel background and i tried to match the colors up as well Although there's none of this turquoise over here. The flowers are similar-ish. There's reds over there and things like that. So it, you know, was uh, an interesting one to do. Hi, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I've got a bit of a frog today. Um, this, these birds I had um, a lot of fun with. I'm not sure what I used. Might be probably polychromos to be honest. Oh yeah, remember this little duckling? And unfortunately, they've got a lot of um, blue pastel on them. I try. I think I did the sky in pencil because I did the water in pencil, and it looked rubbish. So I think I did some pastel over the top, and yeah, it, it all went a bit wrong. But you know, it's still quite cute, and I still like the colour of the flower. Ah, uh, we have a Halloween picture. I'm pretty sure I did this as a tutorial, maybe. Maybe I did a similar one, but uh, there's always lots of pumpkins in these books, which is always handy. Oh, yeah. Now again, this isn't really a double page, but this bowl of cherries, I did a cherry, I think. I might have done the bird and the cherry as a tutorial, but I finished the rest on my own and did a sort of gold pen on the bowl to make it look shiny. And then this one, I think this is done with Derwent pencils, but what I've noticed is here and here, I don't know how well you can see. Um, there's some blue, and here, there's like a few blue scratches as if the pen, 
um, had a different colour in it, if you know what I mean. Sometimes the pencils have a bit of unmixed pigment in them. Now this was definitely a tutorial um, with this gorgeous little princess. Um, I'm sure her wings should have had glitter on, but I can't see any. I can see a scribbled bit of gel pen as if it there was glitter. I don't know where it's gone. It's not on the facing page. It's very strange. Anyway, that was a lot of fun. So there is a tutorial for that, and that's done in Derwent pencils. I think um, Luminant, not, no, Lightfast, really right. I think this was one of the first ones I did from this book. I don't know if I did the whole thing, but I think I did bits as a tutorial. <clears throat> Obviously a Halloween one. And here we have a Christmassy page. So I think that wreath was a tutorial too, or parts of it. Again, these birds have got what looks like gel pen scribble all over them, but there's no glitter. It's most odd. And then we have um, this cat. It's got a sort of um, very patchy... Um, yeah, there's green up there, but it's really hard for you to see. Um, pastel. I think that's it. Oh no, I'm wrong. There's one here which I forgot to bookmark. That's probably one I did. Maybe it's part of... Um, maybe... Uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, I might have done it when I did my flip through, I'm not sure. So that's that one. Now we have Flora. <clears throat> and the first picture I did in Flora was this butterfly. I did that when I did the flip through. It's just a little one. And then I did this one. So we have a pastel background and pencils there. I think they might be Prisma. I'm not entirely sure. I think the middle of the flowers are actually done with gel pen. Lot not done here. And we've got a little um, elf, which is so cute. I didn't do a background on that one. This one is rather sweet. <coughs> it's a lot of cute elements. There's a little one in the hammock and butterflies and things. Ah yes, this one I really had fun with because I like doing berries. Grapes are just so it's, you know, they're a type of berry, obviously, so I've had fun with that. And the background I did with pastel, but I put some of the berry colour into the edges, and I really liked the way that came out. Yes, this was a tutorial. I don't think I did the whole thing. I just think I did one flower, <coughs> and then showed you how to do the background, I think, which was soft pastels and, and lots of white dots, which was fun. I'm sorry, I've got a tickle in my throat now. Now here is another um, pumpkin, and this one has some sort of spooky black shadowy um, pastel on top of some sort of different um, pinks and purples, which is rather nice. And this is one that I did this um, Christmas, is the um, angel, so that was rather sweet. And uh, again we've got blue pastel with lots of white dots. And then this one, which obviously isn't done, is one I've been asked to do. So I'm going to... big. That was a big bang. Um, I'm going to put a bookmark back in there and I'll be recording that one for you at some point. So that's that one. Then we have Luna. And the beginning of Luna... We have, yeah, we have the little bug on that page. And we have our bird. I tried to make this look um, <clears throat> like shiny gold. And then this one I had, um, had did really different colours to what I normally do. And I, I really had fun with that. I like it. <coughs> Excuse me. Now here she is sitting in her tree with her bird. And I did just, just a blue pencil background actually on that one. This one was done in metallics, you can probably see the shine. But metallic pencils mainly with a few dots of, of sparkly pen. And we have a sort of harvesty type one. Pumpkin and various things. I had fun making these peas look 3D. And now we're at the end already, we have a forget-me-not cute little bee and some daffodils. And right at the back, 
we have the seahorse picture, which I did when I did the flip through. That's that one. Next we have Moon Valley. I haven't done many from these last two books. This is the, um, yeah, the stag page. So we have a silver outline, but I think that's silver pencil. I'm pretty sure that is actually done with Derwent pencils. Hmm. I don't know where the silver's come from, so I'm not sh entirely sure. That background just looks like the um, one of the Derwent colours. I had a field day with this one. He is just such a cutie pie, and the black background, it just all came together and worked, and it didn't take too long. I was just so happy with the result. I think that's um, Stedler number 38 and 5. And this is 57 and 56, so Stedler pencils, maybe Ergosoft's. Now we have a more springtime picture here, so with our magnolias and daffodils and tulips, forget me nots. <clears throat> this one I really like, I have to say. Um, skin tone isn't always my best thing, and um, because she has very little facial marking, it was quite difficult to quite get the nose right but it's not perfect but I was really pleased and I actually really like the other colours in the picture the sort of really um neony green that I did for her hair I know it's not conventional but I was thinking you know it's a vine so I just felt it worked and I was pleased with it <clears throat> and then last in this book we have the little bird um this was from when I did the flip through I coloured this one as you can see I haven't done much in here I haven't used a Maria Trolley over Christmas because um, her pictures that I had left are more wintry, not Christmassy. So I was looking for more Christmas pictures. Now this, I think, was a video. Um, this is from Flora and I was asked to do this one. In this book it tells you what book they're from and it has a page number. Not sure if I like that or not really, but it's there. So it's there. And that's that. I love this little dog. This is actually a unique to this book because the universe has some new pictures but also a lot of pictures from other books as well. So that was this cutie dog. And then in this book I've also done this snail which I did when I did the flip through of the book. And that's all I've done in this one. Again I haven't had this one that long but um, I'm definitely planning on doing a lot more. But I thought you would might like to just see my progress and as um, Francis asked me then I thought I would. So there we go that's all those. I am going to be showing you my Hannah books as well. Um, I've done Witch's Cottage already and I'm going to go through all my other books. I'm going to do those one at a time though rather than a long video like this because I've already done a video with them all together which I did in April so I thought I would make it a little bit different. Um, so those will come eventually but um, for now we have we just uh, have this one so i hope that was fun and um, interesting for you and hopefully inspired you um to have a look and maybe um copy some of them i don't mind at all copy them if you do copy my pictures it's always nice if you pop them on instagram just to tag me and i can see and i i like it i like to be able to see what you're doing um that's always really nice so uh, yes thank you very much for watching um i hope you have a really super day and happy coloring <laughs>